Hey everybody, I'm Kent Davis and I'm the Managing Director of Panama Equity. So El Cangrejo is a great neighborhood and I'm going to tell you about it today. I have actually been living in El Cangrejo since I got married in 2009 and we now have two kids and we love El Cangrejo. It's a very family friendly neighborhood. So let's talk about real estate first in El Cangrejo. It's almost exclusively apartments. But you've got older apartments, which tend to be larger, cheaper, less amenities, and therefore less holding costs, things like homeowners association fees, or if you're looking to rent, the rents are lower in an older building versus newer buildings with all the bells and whistles, swimming pools, rooftop observation decks, gyms, and everything in between. So you've got a lot to choose from in El Congrejo. It's generally considered middle to upper middle class. Not luxury per se, although there's some nice buildings in El Congrejo that are considered luxury. So what's life like in El Congrejo? What, what characterizes the El Congrejo neighborhood? Well, walking friendly. We've got a couple different avenues, namely Via Argentina, Via Argentina, which runs from Via España, that would be sort of north, we'll call it north to south, right? It's about three quarters of a kilometer long, and there are shops, restaurants, parks, birds, walkers. It's just, it's full of life. El Congrejo is really the quintessential, and Via Argentina is really the sort of the quintessential Panama neighborhood in the sense of it's full of expats and foreigners, uh, excuse me, expats and locals, I should say. Uh, you've got a tremendous variety of dining options, some great hotels, affordable hotels, luxury hotels, really it's, I would consider it the tourist epicenter as well. Of course, Casco Viejo is, is the historic district and one could argue that it's also very walking friendly. I would say if you are a parent with young kids, El Congrejo is the spot because you've got great sidewalks. If you're still pushing a stroller, you've got a fantastic park, Andres Bello, just got a big remodel with all kinds of new playgrounds and nice facilities. It's, it's just a good vibe in uh, Parque Andres Bello. So El Congrejo, very safe, uh, heavily monitored because of the tourist activity. There's cameras and stuff like that, police patrols all the time, very relaxed. Um, what else can I tell you about El Congrejo? Yeah, it's just, it's a nice neighborhood. Um, there's full of birds and wildlife in the morning. You can hear the birds, it's really cool. There's parrots and hawks. And sometimes you see the occasional toucan, mango trees, papaya trees, very, very tropical, El Cangrejo. Geographically, it's, it's about two miles from the water, actually a little closer, maybe a mile and a half. Uh, socioeconomic, it's all across the board. There are older locals, young expats, young Panamanians and everybody in between because of the variety of real estate options that you've got there. So I think that about does it. Happy to answer any questions about El Congrejo. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We do these videos all the time.